Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be switching up our classic black eyeliner for this color instead. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. All right, ladies, we are going to do a beautiful makeup tutorial. What's new, right? But we are going to be switching out our black eyeliner for this color instead, and it's so perfect for fall. Let's make sure we don't have any, I know I'll be having hair police on here. It has been the last two weeks from Labor Day sale. We'll get into that as I do my makeup tutorial. Okay, so we need to just make myself feel better, right? I wanna do all the things. First, I'm gonna start off with my Le Labo Rose 31. We've got to get the ambiance going. So, you know, I love anything rose. So now I feel like I'm in the groove. We're going to put on, let's just do a little, you know what? I'm going to just do some of my La Mer. It's on my table here, the lifting serum. I'm going to put this on, oops, not on my sweater, just on me. And we are going to work this in. There's a whole ritual of working this into the skin. We don't have time to do the massage, which I really do need on my face, but we're going to go right into our first step which is going to be our eye primer. First step that I always do is going to be my eye primer. This is the holy grail for having your eyeshadow look true, having your eyeshadow last all day, and getting rid of all of this discoloration. So I'm going to put this on my lids here. It is designed to be used with eyeshadow. So your eye creases, is this gonna crease? Could, possibly. I mean, someone just recently called that out in a comment where it was like, your, your eye primer decreased immediately after you put it on. My eyes do move. Same thing like underneath your eyes. I remember when we would always be on set and somebody would be like smiling. They're like, oh, my makeup. But your skin's moving. If your skin moves, the makeup's going to move. It's not plastered on the skin. So yes, sometimes it could, depending on my application, this could basically move. You might see it a little bit. You just pat it down. You put your eyeshadow on and you're good. Eye primer is on. We're set up for our Lay Bottle Blonde. This is a beautiful eyeshadow that's going to be more in that neutral. I have to take out my little brushes. It comes with two little brushes that I designed for you in my compact. And you're going to see just beautiful. Like every day, this is my go-to. It's like you can't go wrong with it. You always feel confident. You feel like, okay, you know what? I know how it goes on. I know how it looks. I can build it up. So if you have anything like that, you can just do that. Then we go right into our middle color. So it's been quite a challenge for, you know, I was doing pretty well when launching all the new products, what have you. I launched two products in one week, probably shouldn't have done that. And then we went right into Labor Day weekend sale. Now it's fine, but we were having a problem with USPS picking up the packages. We have them come every day never been a problem before. And all of a sudden it was a problem. So Friday, the Friday of Labor Day, he did not show up again. So, you know, we just have orders piling up. We're not stopping working. So we're like, wait, what, what are we going to do? So we decided that it would be best if I rented a U-Haul and picked it up on Saturday and took all the packages to USPS myself to the dock. So I thought, right. Okay. Don't really feel comfortable. <laughs> not not a U-Haul driver, but I'll do it. So I rented it. We loaded the truck. I took one of my team members with me and we went to the dock that I've always gone to. This has been a battle for years and I was refused. So they said, nope, too much. Can't come here, you know, go somewhere else. What have you. We're going to take the lightest color here in the compact. I'm going to do my brow bone. So off we went with my driving gloves. I had my driving gloves. If you watch me on Instagram, I took a little picture and I said, I will explain later. <laughs> I got to tell you, it felt pretty good driving that truck with my driving gloves and a little bit more powerful than just your regular. And by the way, the steering wheels, it's like not calibrated. So it's like to the side, but you're going straight. I was like, wow, <laughs> adding all the levels of this challenge. So we had to go to the main USPS and find cages and do the whole thing, what have you, uh, you know what, whatever it takes. So that's what we did. So then after Labor Day, still the same problem, not showing up. So I um, went over to our post office and said, hey, listen, this isn't going to happen. I'm just taking the darkest color here and creating that really nice crease because I'm going to do some really beautiful liner because we're going to really make this eye pop with the navy eyeliner. That's what we're doing. We're taking away the black. We're going with navy. It is so perfect for fall. It is going to make your eyes pop. If you have brown eyes, even better. 
You're going to love it. I love browns and navies together. It's just such a great combination. So I was inspired. I have on this really nice, beautiful navy cashmere sweater, and we're going to just really do it up with this palette. So didn't come again. I went to the post office and I was like, who do I need to talk to? We need help. We really need help. And the woman helped me and she called the driver and basically said, you have to show up. So here we are again, unloading and helping and, you know, just making sure our packages get out. And I think it's really important to understand and have grace, not just with my company. It's not about my company. It's about Etsy, small businesses, other female owned businesses, whether it's clothing, whether it's skincare, whether whatever it is, it is a rough ride when it comes to depending on other carriers and other businesses to help you get to the finish line for your customer. And that's really important. I saw a lot of emails come through with a lot of profanities and what have you that was like really just going to town on my girls and we're doing the best that we can. And I just think that that is what is so important to know that small businesses are trying so hard, doing everything they can, and then they run into a problem where someone just doesn't want to show up. So I think we have remedied the issue and I'm thrilled. And you know, I'm just proud of my team. My team was the one that said, Hey, listen, we're going to do Lancome. We're going to do a little eye makeup remover to lift the eye. The girls were like, this is what we need to do. So luckily my team is like one step ahead of me. So we're going to just lift this to the end. I want this to lift up. It's just gorgeous. You don't want anything down here. You can see this is really a problem right now because it has been very stressful. So I'm going to show you my special product that's going to really help me and you're going to be very excited about it. So my team was really just very, very helpful and really they're ready to go get things done and we made it happen. I hope you're enjoying all of your makeup and I was helping out. You know, it's really, really valuable for me. So many people across the board and Mark, whatever consulting would tell you, you should not be doing that. You should not be in there, you know, in the trenches, whatever. But I know what you're buying. I know what you like. I know the combos you're putting together. It's such invaluable information for me as an artist, as a creator, as doing makeup tutorials, knowing what you're buying and, and what's really, you know, resonating with you. So for me, I find it to be fascinating to see what you're ordering and I really love it. I won't be able to do it for much longer because I've decided to not be shipping in-house. We're going to take that out and relieve the girls. It's just too much now. So we're at that point, which I'm very excited about. So now what we're going to do is we're going to curl the lashes and we're going to go right into working with this beautiful eyeliner. Lashes are curled. Now I'm going to take the Navy waterproof eyeliner pencil that I have here. It's so beautiful. It is such a rich Navy and it's going to look beautiful, whether you pair it with the cabana, whether it's lay bottled blonde. I just think that you could even just do the eye primer. You could do the Nikita banana, which is our brightening powder, just to press it down to keep it set. And then you could do if you just wanted to do a liner, but this is going to be beautiful. And you can see how pigmented it literally goes on so smooth. And it's going to just keep that beautiful pigment all day long. That is why you need to be using a waterproof eye makeup remover. This you want to dip the Q tip into the bottle and then you want to rub it across to really get off this waterproof eyeliner. That's what I wanted for you. I know that a lot of women have watery eyes or wanting a product to really just stay true all day long. So what I'm going to do is I always go up at the end. I've showed that to you for, oh my gosh, has it been a year now? Probably. So I'm going to go up and then I'm going to just smudge this a little bit. So it's really pretty, but oh, how different is this, right? You have that beautiful, like natural eye, and then you have this pop of color. So if you want some color, but you don't want to commit to a whole eyeshadow color, you can put on this beautiful navy and just be different for fall. So I actually did line my eye all the way in here because I wanted it to be just, I wanted that beautiful color on the whole lid. Now I'm going to do my left eye. All right. So the left eye is done now. You can keep it like that, or you can take our short smudge brush and you could just drag it across the eyeliner that you just made. This is going to smudge it up just a little bit. So if you're like, well, I really do love this blue. I just want it a little bit more smoky. You can do it just by dragging across like that. It's going to give you just that really beautiful professional look. I'm going to take volume up and this is my mascara. I'm going to get every single lash because of the way I designed this brush. I'm going to go to the base of my lashes, wiggle back and forth and then pull up. So you can see how it 
literally pulls my lid up because it's grabbing all of those lashes. So let's see if the camera will focus on the wand and you can see just how beautiful. And it depends on how you wanna design your lashes. So you're not going to get clumps if you do it this way. Now, if you go in and dip and then you start really going for it and moving all around, you're going to be getting a lot of product on the lashes. It's not going to be that intentional. It's a little bit different because the brush has all these teeth. It's like a comb. You wanna brush through the lashes and then you're going to get this beautiful look. If not, yes, it won't be as manageable. Mascara is on. I could do bottom lashes if I want to. I'm gonna just keep it clean for today. Now, this is what's really exciting. So I just received my final approval, not even samples, just my final product for my creamy concealer. So right now, I know that a lot of my customers have asked to know about launches before they come so they can be prepared, what have you. So this is what I'm doing now. So I have the three well concealers. If you want to still buy those for a limited time. Once they sell out, they're out. So if you love that product, this would be a great time to do that. And I'm moving into a creamy concealer and I did three colors to start with. I'll get more in depth when these are available. I'm giving you a preview right now, so they're not available. They will be coming out in October. So I did a fair, a light, and a medium. And this is a creamy concealer. It is so beautiful. It can even almost go as like I teach you using your concealer as a foundation where you just kind of cover up what you need to and then spread it out and be done. So it's very versatile. It's very hydrating. It is so beautiful and I'm very proud of this formulation. So I'm going to be using the light and I really need to, you know, just conceal. Obviously I do look tired because of the level of stress and moonlighting as a USPS delivery person. <laughs> so I'm going to be using a color corrector first. I want to lift this color. This is what I always do. I'm using Just Peachy. I'm gonna put it underneath my eyes. I'm going to press it in. You can see, just even swiping it on like helps with brightening my under eye here. So I have seen so many of you really loving this product, which makes me very happy because it does really do its job and you see it on the channel every week practically. I mean, this is my go-to. Now, having the concealer is like the perfect duo. So now I'm going to be able to just spot anything I wanna lift or cover a little bit more. I will do that. My concealer won't have to work as hard because it now has this beautiful base of lifting that color. Worked in the Just Peachy Color Corrector. Now, most of the time I get away with just doing this, but I see that I can do a little extra. So I picked out this flock, which is the tip of this concealer. It's rounded. So I wanted you to be able to roll it if you wanted to. I wanted it to be something that didn't take out too much product and then you're like, whoa, too much. I didn't need that much. So this is a very delicate wand, which I'm very proud of. And the packaging is really beautiful. I put my N on the tip of it here. It's almost like it's a dome, so it matches. So it's part of the whole collection. So I was very excited about that. So I wanted everything to match. You use your concealer every day, right? This is something that you rely on. Like you feel really confident. Oh good, you know, I feel like a little bit brighter. I feel like I look more awake. I want it to be gorgeous and beautiful and a little extra. Did it need to be like this? No, not really, but I wanted it to be, so I did. I'm gonna just use my finger to work this in and bring it down. So I'm gonna be brightening up all underneath my eye and then I'm going to go over with my BB cream. Concealer is on. Now we're going in with my BB cream that's launching this fall and I'm going to just match it right here. I don't wanna to go too underneath my eye area and cover everything I just did. I don't want that much. So I'm just going to take it so it meets seamlessly. And now I'm gonna just neutralize out my whole face. BB cream is on, just looking really natural, really pretty, very hydrated. And I will go into more depth of the products when they are available. I think that would be really helpful once we're able to have them on the website, etc. Same thing with St. Bart's. This is going to be coming out in October. It's more of the middle to end of October. This is my cream cheek. This is a new color for us. I wanted it to be that really pretty, just very petally vibrant cheek here. Just really soft, pretty, kind of elevating your mood. Now I'm going to go in with Cameo 
Nick Ray. That is my kind of go-to. I could do Pretty Smart too if I wanted to, but I just want to keep it really natural. I really want this liner to be kind of more of my focus, which I can see, and I don't even have my contacts on. Cameo is on, going right in with my Nick Ray. Now, what I'd like to do is, I did um, Manifest and Glow before. Let's do a little chomps, and we're going to just give it that custom color. It just lightens it up a little bit, gives you that really refreshed, little more gloss on the lip. And you have, oh, you know what? I didn't want to forget my brows because I do feel that this end of my brow here for some reason is missing a little extra. So we're going to just fill this in just a tad. I just filled in my brow just a tiny bit and I'm going to just do my makeup setting spray, but having a navy liner instead of a black liner is so sophisticated. It's actually been paired with confidence and authority, and I really love that. So ladies, try something new. That is something to easily go into a different category and be popping your eyes with the blue. If you're not crazy about navy, then switch it to a plum. We have a beautiful plum color also. That's just gonna give you something a little different. You're going to notice it. You're gonna be like, oh, what a big deal. You're not gonna see anything different. And then you put on a navy liner like this, put on Lay Bottled Blonde or put on the Cabana and really just see something different. I think it's fun. I think it's nice to switch it up. I always wear dark chocolate and then throwing on a navy is like, ooh, this is neat. This is like a little bit different. And you'll catch yourself in the mirror and think, oh, I'm so happy I did this. Or I never thought I would, I would wear this color, what have you. So let me know, are you up for the switch up? Are you up to switching out your normal eyeliner that you always wear and you feel safe with and doing a color this fall? I think you should. I want to hear in the comments below, is it something you're going to do? Are you going to experiment? Are you going to get outside of your box and rock your makeup, your confidence, your everything over 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s? I hope you do. I want to hear about it. Let me know. And until my next video, I'll see you later.